Hello everyone, welcome to Maths. Hope you all are fine. So let's start our today's class. Today our topic is ratio and proportion. So at first we'll discuss the topic and then we'll solve some international mass Olympiad questions. And the questions we'll solve from Indian Talent Olympiad, India's one of the leading Olympiad conducting organization. If you want to know more about Indian Talent Olympiad, then kindly visit their website. The link of the website has been given in the description. And you know, in my channel, I have done so many questions, okay, uh, from Indian Talent Olympiad. So if you want to learn those topics, kindly subscribe our channel and press the bell notification for the updates. Okay, so let's discuss first ratio and proportion. So now let's see first what is ratio. A ratio in an ordered pair of numbers A and B and written A by B. Okay, written as A by B and where B doesn't equal to 0. And we write it as A is to B. It's called A is to B. This is the ratio. And what is proportion? Proportion is an equation in which two ratios are equal and we use this sign or equal to sign to equate the two ratios. Just like here you can see it's A is to B and C is to D and here is the proportion sign. That means A is to B as C is to D. Okay. Now remember some important thing that's here A, B, C, D are respectively known as first, second, third and fourth terms of proportion. Is the first, is the second, is the third and it's the fourth term of the proportion. Now the first and the fourth terms are called that is first term that is A and the fourth term that is D. A and D, A, D are called the extreme terms or extremes. Got it? A, D are called extreme terms and the next is B that is the second terms and C the third B and C. B and C are called middle terms or means. Got it? Now so you can see it's means and is extremes. Now remember the important things that is in a proportion that is A is to B as C is to D is equal to always we get that A into D that means first term and fourth term that is A and D. A into D is equals to second terms and third terms that is B C. So B into C. A D is equals to B C. Okay. So this is the main important thing of ratio and proportion. Now let's learn some more about ratio and proportion to solve some important questions. So let's solve some important question and learn more about ratio and proportion. So our first question is here. So at first, this is our first question. Try to solve this first. So dear children, did you get your answer? Now let me show you the answer. So here you can see 6 by 16 is equal to 42 by a uh, question mark that we have to find out. What is would be the question mark? Okay, that you have to find out this is x. So we have to find out the value of x. So we can write this equation by this way 6 by 16 is equal to 42 by x because uh, we have to find out the value of x. Okay, so now how can we find out this? As I already told you that a is to b is equals to C is to D that means A by B is equal to C by D okay so always we have to multiply A that with D and C with B in this way that means AD is equals to BC that I already told you so in this way same pattern will solve this so at first we will multiply 6 and X and 16 in and 42 so 6 into x is 6x x, okay is equals to 42 into 16 42 into 16 okay so now what we have to do that's all the equation so it's x x is equals to 42 into 16 by 6 okay now 6 7s are 42 7 into 16 is 1, 1, 2. So, this is the value of x. In this way, we have to find out the equation. Okay. So, whenever you got this type of question, you will solve by this way. So, our question mark here is x and is this 112. And you can see here we have four options. 
and in option a we has 112 so this is our right answer so we got our answer is 112 okay now let's move on let's solve one more question and this is our next question okay here x is to y is equal to 5 in is to 6 and 3 is to x is equal to 4 is to 6 then the value of y is that we have to find out okay so at first try to solve this so dear children did you get your answer now let's check the answer so here our uh, first equation is x is to y is equal to 5 is to 6 so we can write in this way also x by y is equal to 5 by 6 and the next one is 3 is to x is equal to 4 is to 6 so we can write it in this way also 3 by x is equal to 4 by 6 so with the help of these two equation we have to find out the value of y the same way at first we will multiply these two you have already learned this that we have to multiply these two x 6 and 5y so we can do it first is x into 6 is equal to 5 into y okay now here also we'll do the same thing and by this equation we can find out the value of x so it's 4x 4 into x is 4x is equal to 3 into 6 3 into 6 is 18 so what is the value of x value of x is equal to 18 by 4 okay and it's 9 by 2 so value of x is 9 by 2 so we get 9 by 2 now what we have to do let's put the value here only okay so here we can put the value of x so instead of x we can write here 9 by 2 5 into y okay so from this equation we can find out the solution now 5y is equals to 2 in 3 into 9 is 27 so value of y is equals to 27 by 5 okay so 27 by 5 is equals to 5.4 whenever you do the division you get that same answer 5.4 then this is our answer so value of y is equal to 5.4 okay now we have four options you can see it's a b c d and in the option d you can see it's 5.4 so this is our answer got it so option d is the right one 5.4 so this is ratio and proportions hope you enjoyed our today's class Next day, we'll learn some more topic and we'll solve some more question. And one another day, we'll solve some more question from ratio and proportion. Okay. So, till then, take care of yourself and bye-bye.